Hello friends! In this short guide I will explain to you all you need to, do, uh, to know about macro in life as you do. First of all, let me show you how to install and which macro I'm using myself. For that we will need to go on this website, afterhotkey.com. Then you press download. After that you press download installer. You can also download zip file or well, different languages, help languages. But I, I hope you will be able to download it yourself. Basically I'm download, I was downloading this uh, after hot hit uh, installer. So after that we go and install it. It's pretty easy. I'm, I'm not sure I need to show you how to install this simple program. All you need to do is just press OK, OK, OK. After you install the program, you need to have this type of script, right? like I have right here. Uh, let me show you it. This is that set script. I will actually leave uh, a link for you to download it if you can just retype it yourself. This is pre pretty much self-explanatory script. F F12 uh, pauses the script and then you can press it again to restart it after you pause it. F11 needed to start the script. This is this one pauses the program, not script. So basically, when you start the, your program, you need to press F11 to start it, him working. And when you want to pause it, you play, press F12 and restarting it, you press F12 again. This shows that we start a loop, and this shows that we start a simple loop pressing one simple button. Now, before you get, some of you will start screaming, "Oh shit! This is cheating! You will get banned for it." Let me tell you, this is this type of macro. Not not you don't you don't see much of here, but this one is okay. And to prove my point, let me show you uh, what was said by main developer of the game, Bobik, over here in Discord. This was official notification on second uh, of December, as you can see. Here we go. As you can see, a simple macro script with clicker optimization, which I this is. Repetitive clicks, as you can see, KPRSs are okay. What's not okay is using uh, multiple keys or multiple buttons, using mouse movement, and not to say using even sophisticated script, as you can see here, which emulate moving in the game, bringing something, dragging and dropping stuff. That's not okay. And they, I won't ever tell you how to do it, and I recommend not to do it either. This game is fine enough if you just have this simple clicker script. This script is just basically lets you press your left mouse button every 5 seconds. This is, this is it. You can uh, uh, increase or decrease this duration over here if you want. Now, after you install the game uh, program, after you downloaded this script, what you need to do is start it. You do this like you do this like this. Right click on this file, then you need to find open with and you need to choose that this program manually. You probably won't have it over here, so you will go to browse and you will need to find this program. It should be either in program files here or here. As you can see, it's in my program files folder over here. And then you can choose Either this one or depending on your CPU, I will choose this one. This is for, well, if you don't know what to choose, just go for, for, for this one. <laughs> and after that, you, you start like this, press OK, and you start the program. Now, uh, you will have a little button on your tray. Let me show you in a moment. Okay, here we go. As you can see, my tray. And here we have this little icon over here. Right click on it. And as you can see you have a few options. But we don't need those right now. As you remember, uh, this is a button we need to click so our script will start executing. We go in the, to the game. And for example, I want to gather plant fiber. So I right click on it. I go for plant fiber. I right click on it again so it will be default action. And then I press F11. And here we go. The action started. So, of course you need to keep in mind that your character will uh, starve and die at some point. But you can leave him safely for like 5 to 10 hours like this. And just 
relax, go to sleep, and then when you wake up, you can control, feed him up, and stuff, do stuff like this. Now, to pause this script so you can control, you need to press F12, which I did right now. I will stop this section, and I will show you how you can see that script is paused. As you can see, this icon is red. This means I paused the script. Now, to resume action, all I need to do, I need to press F12 again, like this, and here we go. He's doing this again. Also, keep in mind, for this to work, your game window should be active. You can do this with Alt-Tab game. You always need to do this when your game is active. So, this basically it, guys. I covered all everything you need to know about uh, Mark Brain in Life is Feudal. What is okay to do and what's not okay to do. This simple macro is okay. You can do this with different type of uh, software or, I don't know, maybe some special uh, gear like mouses or keyboards, I don't know. I'm using this simple soft, which is available for any type of uh, gear you have, like, even if you, your mouse and, and keyboard is old as my grandma. So, I hope so most of you guys will find this useful and... Uh, enjoyed my video so thanks for watching guys see you later in my next tutorial or maybe on my stream so good luck and have fun